Yeah, a remarkable man. Thanks, Mercedes. Green light for the first here at Albion Park at the Greys. Ready, off now. And Fawn Laurie in a $60 shot began. Well tackled by Can't to Hear You. And Can't Hear You goes to the lead from Fawn Laurie and Bolivia, followed there by Bo, Bo Gillum. Well back uh, is Ems. Uh, Incorporated and then came Rock on Rosie up the straight. Can't hear you on the outside, just in front, and can't hear you beat Fawn Lorian. Third, Bo Gillum, and fourth in Bolivia. Then came Fast Six, followed by Rock on Rosie, M. Sakin. Oh, I still can't get it right. M. Syncopated, and Lord I Chase, the last one home. There's always one. I was always going to struggle with that uh, five. <laughs> anyway, it wasn't in the finish, thank heavens. 3278, 3278. Number three, the favourite, they're about to come in. Summer Senor, is trained by Travis Elson. Far East Girl, the close uh, second pick, is trained by Dave Tom. Both those trainers based on the uh, north side of town. Dave Tom at the Glasshouse Mountains. Travis Elson at uh, Yendina, both on the uh, Sunshine Coast hinterland. Okay, conditions remain fine here at Albion Park. Green light, race two, number two, Far East Girl now at 260 is the Tats Bet favourite. Set. Ready and racing. Far East Girl came out beautifully. We love George Mr. Ten Links. Far East Girl pinged to the lead and got away from Summer Senor, the only threat. Couple away, Shanae's Fantasy. And then came Gnarly Jack getting through to fourth placing, followed by She's a Believer and Galway Tornado. But up the straight, Far East Girl in front, and Far East Girl wins at a half length to Summer Senor. Shanae's Fantasy third and Galway Tornado fourth. And then came Gnarly Jack. They were followed by, further back then was She's a Believer. And We Love George came out 10 lengths behind the field and trailed them home. Two Far East Girl for Dave Tom, 240 and a dollar. Three Summer Senor, 160. Four Shanae's Fantasy, 470. Late scratching of nine. Raffles, plenty of fashions there. Next uh, meeting at Gatton in the southeast here of Queensland, the Gallops. Saturday, August 24. Put a ring around that date. Six Cody Senor, 440 is our Tats bet favourite here. An informed kennel, Travis Elson with the favourite here. Number six, Cody Senor. Thanks, Andrew. Green light. Ready. Away they go. Very even line out. And Calliope Kate began fast. Tackled by the reserve uh, King uh, Tut. And also round the outside goes Zephonic Babe. Up to the first turn, Zephonic Babe takes the lead from Calliope Kate. Followed by, uh, Zephon by uh, Cody Senor, Lakota Prince and Ellie's Gold. But breaking clear is Zephonic Babe. And Zephonic Babe goes on to beat Calliope Kate. Third was King Tut and fourth in then was Ellie's Gold. Behind these then came Lakota Cerny. Further back, Outback Sassy. Then came Still on Time, who was about the last one home. Eight, Zephonic Babe. Bill Boone and um, Christine Pollard from up Rockhampton might say it's mighty hard to win a race there these days. The competition's really tough, so... Perhaps Lorraine, Lorraine Isles with this one has decided, well, instead of going from Bundaberg to Rockhampton, I'll come to Albion Park on a Wednesday and try and win a race with custom idea. Soon, no. Green light. Racing. Custom idea out well is trying to go through, but fear no more. Punches up, holds the lead. Fear no more. Got away now from uh, SS and custom idea back to third. Then came Lakota Fury and uh, further back was Bully Blue Boy. Hope Diamond a long way back with Osteo and Stato's Babe. Round the corner they come. Front runner is Fear No More and doing it well from SS coming late. Fear No More. Beat SS. Third would go to Lakota Fury in front of Hope Diamond and then came Custom Idea who just couldn't hold its spot in the early stages. Then Hope Diamond, Osteo and Stato's Babe last in about 23 and 10. One, fear no more. I'd say I'll just get in here. 320 and 110. Yes, it has. Number one, fear no more. 320 and 110. Two, SS at 320. Eight is third, Lakota Fury. And five is fourth, Bully Blue Bollock. When it starts to get dark, whether it's summer or winter, it only takes about 20 minutes or so for it to, um, to go from one to the other. We don't have lengthy twilights here at all. So... Uh, it's gloomy now, and when we come back for the uh, for race six, it'll be dark and gloomy by the look of things. Five Placid Spirit, our favourite here at 360. 450, number three, Capella. 570, number one, Loki's Mistress. 530, number seven, I, Nikki. 
Forward they got the 600 start. Now they're in. Green light. No more bets, thank you, as Mr. Jokes would say. Ready? Off now. And Loki's mistress near the inside away, well headed off by Marino. And Marino takes the early lead from round the outside, Boana Chanel. Then came Capella and Loki's mistress. Behind these, Placid Spirit Eye, Niki, and then Vintage Sunrise. And uh, Miss uh, Seven Ghosts is the last one. They're in the back section. And Marino out by a length and a half. Capella tries hard to pick it up. Couple of lengths away, Boana Chanel. And then Loki's mistress and Placid uh, Spirit is too far back from there. On the bend for home, a two dog war. Marino in front. Capella went up on the inside. Grabbed it, shot clear. Capella, too good. Coming clear. Capella has beaten Marino and Lockie's mistress. Fourth in, then was Miss Seven Ghost. And they were followed then by the outside boxes who never came into play. Vintage Sunrise, Placid Spirit, I Niki, and then came Bawana Chanel. 3 2 1, and 4 will be fourth. 3 2 1, 4. 3 Capella for Jan Warner. 4 10 and 180. Followed all the way through at 4.50. This is the 6th of 10 in the Twilight Zone. We're back here tomorrow night. Green light. Here's the bunny. And they're racing with Tricet beginning well, tackled by Well You Know, who goes to the lead. Well You Know from Tricet up to the first turn. Bojangles Best trying to get through, now getting to the outside. Well You Know takes the lead by a length and a half on Bojangles Best outside there of Tricet. And then Strong Diva a close fourth. Further back then was Imperial Rose, Stubby Cooler, Blah, Blue Shiraz, and now Viking the last one on the bend for home. Well, you know when Bojangles Best are locked in battle. Bojangles Best went, no, well, you know, kick back on the inside. Well, you know, too good for either. Try set all Bojangles Best and Strong Diva just behind them. Then Blue Shiraz, our Viking, Stubby Cooler, and Imperial Rose about 31 and 2 the time on the slow track. Just kept kicking that uh, four. The two was going to get it, the nine was going to get it, but no one could get it. And four, well, you know, is kicked back very, very solidly in the run to the line. In 31.22, on the world's worth, uh, worst weather forecast, I did suggest that a half an hour ago it might be set in, and that seems to be the case. Uh, might have tipped a winner in that regard at long last. 2.20, number five, Shah Becky. Green light, set. Racing. Shah Becky began very fast indeed and there she goes straight to the lead from Mobile Banker followed there by Smiley Summer and Blue Oval went up into fourth placing followed by Ragtop Mustang. Well back is Cabrera Bandit. Course you did and Bella Voyage the last one. In the back it's all over. Shah Becky 10 in front. Coming past the 600 boxes from Mobile Banker and then Smiley Summer and further back was Ragtop Mustang. But have a look at Shah Becky in a world of her own. Shah Becky won by about 12 lengths. The reserve, Capera Bandit got second, Blue Oval third, of course you did fourth in front of Ragtop Mustang, and they were followed by Bella Voyage, Smiley Summer, and Mobile Banker. Gee, on a slow track with steady rain, that's a good gallop around 30 and 2. So it is 3 4 5 at this stage of the quadrilla. Sharbecki, $1.80 and a dollar. For the Prince, Tom Zavellis. Quickly in front, Grim. Casual Paddy's at 490. And the five Barrett time for Ross Ogden is at 590. 395 the fly. They start behind the uh, semaphore board there. The semaphore board which uh, serves to uh, give the um, result and other details for the Greyhound Sand Harness meetings here. Green light now. Set. Off they go. Out the middle there, Barra time began fast. There's Cool Trick rushing around the outside to put its head in front. Cool Trick now draws a length and a half clear of Barra time, followed by Hara's Rocket. Well back is Casual Paddy, Cafron, Country Bumpkin, and Senor Zero, the last one. Zorro, the last one. Cool Trick wide in front. Barra time trying hard, but Cool Trick's too good. Cool Trick pulls away, beat Barra time. Oh, gee, it's tight for third. Hara's Rocket or Casual Paddy, a nostril in front of Cafron, and then Country Bumpkin, and Senor Zorro last in about 22 and 9. Cool trick. Good thing of the day home. Number 7, 350 and 170 for Ronnie Ball. 5, Barra Time for Ross Ogden, second, 330. 6 got third, Hara's Rocket for Kerry Myers, no dividend for that Greyhound. As a matter of interest, it was $20.80 uh, $20 the win. Toast for Jeff Greville. Number one, Lucky Locky the Firmer into $4.20 for Kerry Myers as we get set for race nine. Green light. Here's Lenny. Racing. 
And out the middle there, Emma Nictor began brilliantly and spears across and takes the lead from Midnight Toes, followed by on the fence Larkiel Lockie. And then Dagus, Vegas and Kick and Plugger and further back was Ohm's Odyssey. Well back is then as they come to the home turn there, Large Diamond. Around the corner they come. Good battle here, Emma Nictor, Dagus, Vegas getting up on the inside, grab the lead, Dagus, Vegas from either Emma Nictor or Midnight Toast. And fourth in then I'd say Larkiel Lockie. They were followed then by... Um, large Diamond, Kick 'em Plugger, Son of Joy was always well back and finished alongside Ohm's Odyssey at the tail of the field. Race to race double to Ron Ball here. Cool trick in race eight. Dagus Vegas in race nine. Dagus Vegas, a very strong railing display to get home and score at 4.30 and 1.70. And the Grafton card coming through with some uh, tremendous action there tonight from the Grafton Greyhounds on the big spacious track there. Mark Arundale, your caller from Grafton. Mungunya, our Tats bet favourite here, number one. 360 is the route out for Di Hannon. Green light. They're ready. Racing in the last Mungunya out beautifully near the inside, takes the early lead. But four way rogues coming around the outside and goes straight past it and dash clear. Four way rogue by five to Mungunya, followed by only dancing, and then came Abby's Fantasy. Well back is not too late, a lot of talk. Also Balaclava Bandit and My Girl Lakota, but it's all four-way rogue. And four-way rogue wins the last by about eight or nine lengths from um, Abby's Fantasy in second placing. And then came My Girl Lakota in advance of only dancing. Behind these Mungunya, not too late, a lot of talk. And Balaclava Bandit about last in. Four-way rogue, gee, that speared across and... Went straight past the one who'd begun well. Went straight past it as if it wasn't there. Eight four-way rogue six. six